This week in Nerf, we've got new parts, new blaster shipping, and a shell ejecting blaster. I'm Jangular, and every Saturday morning, this is your source for first party, third party, and community nerf news. Diving right on in, we've got Orange Modworks with some new parts in their workshop line. This is a new EAT uh, pusher breech, and it is SLA printed like the long shot parts that we saw before. And this is definitely interesting that they are adding and expanding, and it's good to see that they really are working on this new ecosystem of theirs. And they do have another installation and uh, product use video, which is good to see. I like that they are showing the process of installation for those that want to buy their parts but may not have the most experience so may not be certain it's just kind of some good stuff here and there uh this is meant to be used with 1730 seconds uh their barrel actually that they sell on their website will work with this that you saw in the long shot product video so it's good that they're trying to keep things uniform and interchangeable so that they don't need to produce a bunch of extra parts uh if they wanted to go with different size barrel material for some reason. I don't know why they would want to, but you never know. So it's nice that they're they're expanding on this line. We're seeing 160 FPS claims from this kit. I will be curious to see what people get with it when they have it in hand and, and actually testing on their own rather than just company advertised. Not that this is going to be wrong, but it's always nice to have that verification and confirmation from third-party reviewers. So I'll look forward to that. If you like the EAT and this is something you're definitely interested in, check it out. Uh, it's cool to see a little bit of EAT love, especially since we haven't really seen a whole lot for it in the last year or so. It's kind of fallen off as we've uh, moved on to other platforms. So it's nice to see a little bit of love for this. Let, let me know if it's something you're interested in down below. But let's move on to our second topic of the day, and that is is a product from Remzak, and this is a Caliburn barrel, a PET, PETG uh, barrel for the Caliburn. It's, it's not all PETG, it's part that, and it's coupled onto the same type of barrel material that you get with the Caliburn normally, so that it fits in with the whole pusher system and all of that. Uh, that is on the caliber and as it sits normally. This allows you to have a tighter barrel fit, which works better for worker darts, uh, but it may, I believe he said it causes a little bit more of an issue with things like AccuFakes, since the barrel is tighter. Uh, those may not work as well or at all, but if you're looking for something that give, to give your caliber and a little bit more oomph or power behind it, this may be a way to go. Uh, I believe he is looking into... Uh, ways to do it with brass or other materials as well, but he hasn't listed that on his Etsy. Uh, I will include a link down below to both the video that shows you how to make your own if you want to, and a link to their Etsy where you can just buy them in, I believe, 14-inch and 18-inch lengths uh, if you don't really want to go through the hassle of making it yourself and you just, yeah, I'll just buy it and have it and drop it in and be good to go, which, you know, I, I can be a fan of at times. So I think it's definitely cool that we continue to see more and more done for the Caliburn. It really is the platform of the year, it feels like, right now. With all of the ingenuity and things going into it, I think it's, uh, it's pretty fantastic. Pretty fantastic. So I always look forward to seeing more and more, and this uh, is more and more. So who knows what the next thing we'll see, but let's move on. Let's talk about Jet Blasters. Now... They have had issues in the past with release dates. Everybody knows about it. Uh, they have posted, however, on Facebook that the CETA will finally be shipping at the end of May. I really hope that it does ship. I think it would be a great thing. I think they really need to hit this launch. As delayed as the CETA has been, they have been making improvements in being uh, more communicative with the community and letting people know what's going on, sharing images of the process and all of that. And it seems like they're genuinely making uh, an effort to try and uh, better themselves and, and just, I don't want to say repair their name, but that may be the best way to, to say it because they certainly do have a history of not making their deadlines. So I really would like to see them hit this May deadline that they've stated and then continue to hit the deadlines that they state from this point on. So that way, with their increased uh, communication with the community and hitting their deadlines, I think that would be a great step towards uh, bringing their name back to the forefront, or to the forefront, rather, of, of being reliable. 
And I think that's, I'm sure, what they would like to have. Fingers crossed they can do it, because you know I like their idea of their whole swappable ecosystems for things, and the seed is an interesting design. So I really do hope that they will continue on an upwards trend. I really like to see things succeed, and companies succeed, especially in this community, because the more companies that succeed and do great things, the better it is for us as a whole. So fingers crossed on that one. Maybe I'm just being optimistic? Entirely possible, but I would prefer to be that way about all this than, uh, than not. So that's just, that's my perspective and my hope. Uh, I am looking forward to seeing the CETA on the field, in people's hands, getting reviews. Uh, I did not purchase one myself yet. Uh, I may in the future, but I think it'll be cool once we actually have it in hand. One more thing to talk about this week before we get into our modern video of the week, and that is something from uh, GDOP26. This is the Spring Thunder, which we have talked about in the past. The Spring Thunder is the name or the working title of the shell ejecting shotgun nerf blaster. And this thing is so cool. I love this thing. It's absolutely awesome. The fact that the files are now released, which is why we're talking about it today, they are on Thingiverse. If you have a printer of your own, you want to get the materials, you can make your own. Absolutely awesome. Super cool. I want one of these. Uh, now, he is going to be selling them. I believe currently he's looking at around $200 for them. He's also trying to streamline the process so the prices may change and fluctuate. Uh, it's still very early days for this, but the fact that it's makeable now, you can print the files, and he is going to be trying to sell them. I'm excited about this because I think it's really cool. And... Some of the uh, Elite Dart uh, FPSs were jumped up from the last time we saw this. I think he was getting pretty sub subpar performance early on, but now hitting around 90 to 100, which, yes, is not amazing super stock, but this is a shotgun-style shell-ejecting blaster, so I'm not expecting the highest of performance. I'm expecting fun, and the fact that it's fun and functional at, like, a stock plus game that's awesome. That's really cool to me, and I'm really excited to see these hopefully uh, show up at games all over because I really like the design of this, and I think the function is awesome. So definitely check that out if you've got a printer or if you want to pick one up of your own. But let's move on to the mod of the week, and that comes to us from Valor Lionheart. This is Deadlight. This is a commission build that he has made, and it is, as many of you probably would guess, inspired by Dying Light. The paint job is so cool. Oh, that that on its own was was what made me want to feature this, just because it is such a cool paint job. It's really visually eye appealing and, and eye grabbing. Like it, you look at it and just like, oh, that is cool. Like it, it has that dying light aesthetic down pat. Um, he does have a video on the build since it is a commission build so if you want to check that out see all of what went into it definitely go check that that will be linked down below it is cool i'm a fan of valor's work so i definitely love showcasing it when i can and this this is no exception so definitely go check that out now for the video of the week that comes to us from foam alliance uk and this is from the foam flinging skirmish one uh and this this was a cool this is a cool video uh, this is a gameplay video, which you know I love sharing, but this had three different cameras. Uh, and while we've seen multi-camera stuff in the past, I've done multi-camera stuff, the difference here is while two of the cams are on the person, one is out in the field. So he's got the, the screen all set up in a way that part of the field is just a stationary view, and you can see people running across... Uh, when they're trying to push the tower he's in. So even if there's nothing necessarily going on in his perspective, you can also look at the field, and you can also look at the face cam. And it's just a really interesting take on a gameplay video, and I really, really enjoyed this. I uh, I really want to see more in this style from him. I think it was uh, more interesting than normal to me. So uh, definitely glad to see him try and change things up and try something a little bit different with his gameplay video. Definitely recommend going to check this out because I enjoyed it. I, I kind of want to go back and watch it more just because I enjoyed the perspectives and I didn't get to per uh, perhaps focus on all of the different elements because while he was shooting at something, I wasn't looking at the top of the stationary cam view. So Maybe I'll go back and see if I missed anything. Someone running around through that top cam at some time. 
that's just those kind of things that interest me and I want to share with all of you. So go check that out. Now, if you have any mods or videos that you think deserve to be mod of the week or you think maybe I didn't see, definitely leave those in the comments down below. And as always, thank you so much for the patrons this month. You saw them in that video earlier. If you want to check that out, you can click on the Patreon link right over here. Uh, if you want to see the video of the week, you can click right over here. And then I think we'll move this over here. If you want to subscribe, if you're new to the channel and enjoy this video and want to see more every Saturday, we do gameplay videos. We do, or I'm sorry, we do news videos every Saturday. We do do gameplay videos as well along with reviews and all that good stuff. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.